Hello and welcome to another episode of Momental Mom today. In this episode, we'll be talking about date genetics. Let's get started. A common date is one of the earliest cultivated tree crops that we know of. In modern times, the common date is only found in orchards, abandoned gardens, and in desert water holes. It is believed to be native to the Arabian Gulf region likely southern Iraq, southern Iraq. In times gone by, it was from this region that northern India, north Africa, and southern Spain obtained dates. In the arid regions of many parts of these countries and continents, dates are one of the major income-generating activities within such nations. Despite its high economic yield and social significance, like most other crops, the gene pool of the common date has been on the decline, and the knowledge of the full gene pool of the date is unknown. And the consequences are very stark. Fusarium wilt has been rapidly knocking out much of the cultivated varieties of date within the North African region. Tolerant cultivars of Moroccan origin have already been identified, but they all unfortunately give poor quality dates in comparison to the more common commercial varieties. All the Iraqian and Tunisian cultivars identified have since then been found to be susceptible. There are, however, a few trees called calts. These are feral seedlings, and at least a few of them have been found to be both disease-resistant and of good fruit quality. The date palm is dioecious, with separate male and female plants that are required to, to cross-pollinate each other to produce seeds and offspring. All commercial varieties are female, and as of right now, there's 220 cultivars that are derived from females that are propagated through asexual shoots. The source of the pollen comes from regular male plants collected from the wild or around the region. Dr. Cedra has attempted to identify the genetic diversity of the common day gene pool by doing a genetic analysis of a small sample of the cultivars, consisting of 31 commercial cultivars and 10 feral trees found in individual plantations. Of the commercial varieties, there are 3 cultivars from Tunisia, 3 cultivars from Iraq, and 25 Moroccan cultivars. The DNA was collected and analyzed using RAPD, genetic marker technology, and analyzed using the software program TreeCon. This data was further analyzed using the NDMS statistical software package. A list of the a list of the dates studied will be seen on the final slide, alongside the genetic distances. But first, on to the results. Hello, I just want to let you know, if you want to fund this channel, you can do so on the platforms seen in the description below. Using the genetic market technology, the genetic distance between different cultivars vary between 0.13 and 0.77. A family tree of how these cultivars diverge can be seen on the final slide of this video. The grouping association is rather weak due to the fact that none of these cultivars, none of these cultivars are derived through self-pollination, and there is still a great deal of genetic variation within the date population and continuous crossbreed between different groups. But different cultivars did cluster together, indicating that there are specific groups. The feral seedlings showed a higher level of genetic diversity than the cultivated variety. With the exception of the feral seedling SH7, which was quite similar to the cultivar Drya, from which SH7 was selected from, there is now a predominant genetic differentiation between the Moroccan cultivars and the Iraqi and Tunisian cultivars. Several of the groups that showed up in the clustering process show distinct resistance to fusarium. What could be concluded was that the Tunisian and Iraq cultivars are closely genetically linked to the cultivars already grown in Morocco, plausibly indicating a close genetic relationship between these three groups. More improved clustering may be acquired through employing additional genetic marker technology. The different genetic groups that could be found, however, showed that resistance appeared in all three genetic groups, indicating the possibility of at least three genetic sources of fusarium resistance. And crossbreeding resistant 
plants from these three groups could yield improvements in genetic resistance to Fusarium. It's also very plausible that there is a very low gene pool overall within the date population, and the foundation stock for the Moroccan, Iraq, and Tunisian cultivars of date may have been an extremely small population, creating a very narrow gene pool. It is also possible that the continuous exchange between different cultures regarding different date varieties would have led to crossbreeding events between different lineages happening, and as a consequence, new genetic forms would emerge, further muddying the water of which group belongs to which, and that will occur as everything. Now on to the last two slides showcasing all the remaining information. Thank you for watching.